It's great to walk around the workshop and think that the vast majority of this equipment is powered by the sun. It's, it's an exciting thing, it's, it's the future. Warren Services is a full service engineering business, so we make machines for our customers that are delivered around the world. So we have our own fabricating capability, our own machining capability, painting and finishing, and then electromechanical assembly and test. Warren Services started thinking about solar probably five years ago, but the cost was a lot higher. You needed to get a subsidy to make it stack up. We started seeing a change. The price came down, the payback was shorter, so we decided to put 250 kilowatts of Q-cell panels on the roof. Here at Warren Services, they took the latest generation of our monocrystalline cells. Specifically, we refer to these as quantum cells. It's patented technology, all developed in-house. So our understanding is that Warren on the site here will consume around 80% of the solar kilowatt hours that they generate, which is a fantastic number. Um, but equally, that will reduce their overall electricity demand on the site by around 30%. So these are, are really solid figures that further qualify this as a, as a good business decision for Warren Services. The big thing that shifted us to solar at Warren Services was the fact that financially it stacked up. You know, this installation will pay for itself in less than five years. There's no investment out there which will return that. But also, we're in control of our power production. We're not affected by the increase in price of electricity, so we've got some control over that. We wanted a high quality solution. We wanted a good quality panel. We wanted decent inversion and we wanted a engineered solution for the installation. Ivy Solar offers a bespoke approach to all new clients, offering a full turnkey solution for their solar PV and battery storage needs. So since the feeding tariff is gone, the main money maker now, or money saver, is saving power directly on site. To ensure that we're able to offer that to our clients, we take a much more in-depth approach on their operation, how they use power, as and when, to make sure that what we offer them has the greatest return investment and greatest impact on their operation. So sustainability is not just about our solar panels. You know, if we can reduce use or change to a more environmentally friendly technology, like we're now using a number of electric vehicles, the lights in these factories are all motion sensitive, so they turn off if no one's here. We've replaced our compressed air systems with variable speed compressors. We're always looking at you know, new things we can do to reduce our power use, so the power that we do produce goes as far as possible. I think what Warren has done here is really, really interesting. I think it should inspire other businesses to think along the same lines. There's the green credentials, certainly, and that, that's a big factor in the decision making. But I think when you look at uh, the, the decision that Warren have taken here and, and how that can be incorporated into other businesses, this is, a, this is a sensible energy decision for a business to protect their future and provide some security around energy. We need to embrace green technology because we haven't got a choice. You know, we've got to protect our planet. As manufacturers, we use a lot of power, so we need to be responsible for where that power comes from.